Welcome to the instructions for Word Module 4. This assignment is a multi-page document, so if I control F to see the actual document in pages, you'll see that it's five pages long and has a lot of pictures and a list on um, the last page. So on, on this, what we're going to do, I'm going to close out of here, is we're going to create a cover page. We'll work with hyperlinks, smart art, so the first thing we're going to do is click insert cover page. You can select any cover page you like. I'm going with the one called motion. And you can go ahead and click the arrow to choose the ac actual date or just click today, whatever you want. You'll get the year here. And if you scroll down, you'll see at the bottom, you get the actual current date. So the first thing um, you may have to type in here, the information STC student um, success resources, I've already um, filled it in. So um, what I wanna do is change the color of the background of this banner. So I'm going to go to shape format, shape fill, and I'm gonna choose one of my recent colors. For the picture, I'm gonna select the picture, right click, change picture. I'm gonna use um, from this device that stick logo. Select insert. I'm just going to use my four arrows and drag it up. Now what I, you can also put a border around it because there's a border around that one. So if you want to go to picture and border, you can put a border around it. Um, you can have it thicker as well. And then the, the green in the background, if I click over here, I'm just clicking the top portion, portion of the green. I'm going to click over here, so I select the whole thing. And then I'll go to Shape Format and select a different color. I'll go with gold. Then I'll scroll down a little bit. Your name should be there. That's fine. I'm going to get rid of Company, so I'm going to click the three dots, Company, and then just press Delete. And a second time to get rid of that blank space. So there you have your cover page. Now we'll go to our first picture. Now, not only text can have a hyperlink, but a picture can as well. So I want people that open this document, they can actually go directly to um, the STIC website. So choose insert, link, and then um, just type www.stcc.edu. It'll automatically put in the um, http colon slash last automatically for you. So um, I'm going to click OK, and then when I leave it and I hover around it to get to this website, you'll see the URL address, and hold Control to click, and it'll take you right to that website. Now, um, again, when you're hovering over it, it has the URL address. If you wanted to, I'm going to right-click and go to Edit Link, and I'm going to go to Screen Tip. So instead of it having um, the HTTP colon slash, slash www, I'm going to type welcome to STCC. So I'm going to click OK and OK. Now when I hover over it, it says welcome to stick. So you can make your own um, screen tip. I'm going to scroll down. This is all information that you can also get on the stick website. You could make links to all these pictures, but I just wanted to come down here and make a link to stcc.edu as in text. I'm going to select the text, choose um, insert link, and again, and the ad address should be www.stcc, and it does it already for you. So um, click OK. Um, you can put a screen tip if you want, but that's fine. And notice it changes it to the blue text with underline, and now it is a link. And if I do the same thing, control click, it'll take me directly to the STIC website. This information, what we want to do is also translate it. And also just select the text that you want um, to, to be translated. And then in, um, in review, choose translate and you're going to choose translate selection so it's just that selection over on the right hand side you get a window that opens years ago you had to go to google and google translate if you um, in order to um, get it to translate but now you can do it right within word and you can go ahead here and select any language you want 
There's quite a variety. So you can select anything you'd like. And then insert. Nice. The next one, uh, we're going to create a word art. So I'm just going to go below the word art because we're going to need those words. So I can close out of Translate now and choose Insert, Smart Art. And I'm going to go with, uh, it tells you over here when you click it what type of, um, what it's called, this shape, and what you would use it for. I know there's only three, but we can add more later. So I'm going to click OK. And it goes below it. So the first one that I'm going to select is, and I'll type coach. And you can either type it here, or you can type it here. It doesn't matter. Now I need to add a shape, so I'm going to click Add Shape. And then in this one, Assessment. Add another shape, SI Support, and one more shape. And then we can go ahead and delete this text. We just needed it to, um, so it, we knew it to fill in. Now, if you decide, you know what, I'm not sure if I like this shape, you could go back to Shape Art Design, and you can go down and select a different style. I like this one too, the vertical. And then you can change color. You can also go into Shape Styles, and they have 3D effects. And you just hover to see what they do. And it's up to you what you'd like to do. And again, you can change your mind, maybe the pyramid style you'd like, and go back to Shape Styles, change the color. It's your choice what you'd like to, um, to decide to um, for your shape art, smart art. And there's lots to choose from. So I'm going to go back to um, the vertical. So, so far we've created a cover page. We added hyperlinks to both text and to a, a graphic, a picture. And we just completed a smart art. And if you just wanted to go back up to the pictures, and uh, again, you could go to picture format and you could put a frame around the picture. It's up to you. Or you could crop the picture. So you could just get, um, whoops, just uh, make sure you have that goes to a, like a marker of a T and you could get rid of extra unneeded space, click crop again. Or you could actually crop it to a shape. So you can do anything you'd like. So um, on this one, let's look at it as multiple pages now. And it's six pages long. We can make it smaller just to see everything. So you do have your cover page. We added a link to the first picture. We added a link to the contact information. And we changed the um, translate document, the last line there. And we created a um, smart art. And we also changed the shape of one of the pictures. So that's the save and submit. Thank you.